Important notice we are closing our premium tutorial enrollment by Jan 2020. In this tutorial, we are going to see about the difference between UDS and OBD. So the reason behind this tutorial is we have got so many emails and messages saying what is the main difference between UDS and OBD protocol. Before that, if you want to watch all our tutorial in a sequence, just visit this site which is given, the link is given in the description so that you can watch all our tutorials in a sequence. Subscribe for more details. So here we have, I have not uh, created any new tutorial. Actually, we have uh, around 100 plus of tutorials. If you just go through all or at least few, you will really come to know the main difference between unified diagnostic service and onboard diagnostics. So I just consolidated a few tutorials and uh, put here to make you understand in a very direct way. So it's so straight, so there is no more complication to understand this. Say first we have the onboard diagnostics. It is just to the basic OBD consists of an ECU. It's an ECU that uh, it will just uh, get the fault related information and it will display in the dashboard. This is all onboard diagnosis. For onboard diagnostics, we have the MIL. That is the malfunction indicator lamp. Say for example, if there is any problem with, uh, you know, any problem with engine, we will get engine uh, lamp here. If there is any, any problem with uh, the tire, then you will get the, you know, TPMS uh, lamp. So this is how the onboard diagnostics works. Let's see about UDS for the same concept. So here our agenda is to find out the problem with the TPMS, that is tire pressure monitoring system. If it is a OBD, it will just display it in the dashboard. If it is onboard, if it is UDS, that is Unified Diagnostic Services, we you cannot able to uh, make make it the 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 car cannot able to broadcast you that it it has a issue. Rather, you have to read, you have to send some request, and you can uh, get the uh, re response from that. From that response, you can to, you can you, you have to understand the what is the issue. Say so here both are the same issue. Say so for example, you are driving a car. In your car you have some problem with your tire pressure monitoring tpms okay so tire pressure monitoring sensor for uh, for monitoring that if you want to know the immediate uh, notification you can see the dashboard if uh, you want to ensure or uh, if you are uh, if you take your vehicle to the garage if the technician has uh, checked using uh, tested using uds then you can uh, get the same uh, same fault in the UDS so that is what UDS and diagnose and OBD so a simple words UDS is it will uh, if you want to read you have to send a request and you will get a response OBD means it will uh, without sending any request just turn on your ignition you will get the uh, you know indication that these are all the faults so this is what so UDS means you have to get into the garage then uh, your technician has to read whereas uh, in, t in uh, this OBD there is nothing like that you can just uh, directly uh, switch uh, turn on the ignition and you can find what are the problem but here you have to give a request and get a response so how you will get a request and how you will get a response so using the read DTC information that is what are the DTCs present in the ECU that you can use read using the read DTC information that is the 19 service that too we can have the one, sub, one, one sub function called list of all DTCs present in the ECU so you, you can send 1902 and uh, you can send the status mask availability so that you will get the response so here this is what a request of D D uh, DTC status mask then uh, see here DTC status mask availability that is uh, this x axis is uh, DTS status mask availability of TPMS related info. So you will get the response as see uh, y y y y that is for example 32 4e 2b. So this uh, this DTC is for just for our assumption this DTC is for the TPMS uh, failure. So this AD is this uh, particular DTC is been uh, in the active state. So that's all about uh, this OBD and U UDS. See, in UDS, you can read in this way. You have to send a request and you get the response. After getting the response, you have to check with the data sheet so that you'll come to know there is a problem with TPMS. 
related uh, sensor in NTPMS you will have a problem but whereas in OBD it will directly send you the notification through MIL that is malfunction indicator lamp so that's it fine so if you're not subscribed you can subscribe and uh, share to your friends catch in upcoming tutorials until then bye